search for all of the talents, skills, and intelligence that exist in all children and youth. I believe all children are capable of success. No exception! and capable of success. I have dreams of the future and I'll climb those goals and dreams every day. All children are capable of success. No, no Mercedes and I'll be showing what Outlook is and what it is used for and its features. You may know one way to sign in, which is through KSD.org, but here is another way, which is through Rapid Identity. When you first sign in and end up in Rapid Identity, you'll scroll down and next to Park Overdrive is Outlook Web Access. As you can see, I have signed in before, so, but before you'll need to put in your school email and your password. So all I need to do is put in my password and I'll stay signed in. Here we have Outlook, which Outlook can be used for emails sent by teachers or by students, and it's usually used for school. As you can see, I have flagged, the flagged these teachers' emails in the name teachers' emails, so I can recognize what it is and what it has sent. If you want to do this too, you'll click on one of your emails that you scroll down, and you'll click Categorize up here, and you'll pick New Category. And I'll name this one classroom. Then I'll pick a color that I want it to be. And I'll save it. And when and once that is done, you click on that classroom and you can see all the emails that you have put for classroom. You go back to your inbox, which is usually where you receive messages. And you'll scroll down and you'll see this week's and your latest emails. And this one's by a, a, um, a teacher. And it will have her name and to whoever is sent to. As you scroll down, as you see these blue blue lines, it means that it, it means that the message has not been read. So when you click it and then you click out of it, it is gone. So that means you have read it. If you want to see all your unread messages, you go up to filter up here and click unread. Then we'll go back. If you want to send a message, you'll click new message up here and to. If you are, I'm gonna send it to one of my friends, which twenty four dot Aaron Harris, and I'll just send whatever. You usually need to add a subject. So I'll say hello. And put a smiley face. Oh, wait, oops, that was a sad face. Then I'll send. Then you go to your sent items, and right there would be your latest message that you've sent. But once you see a teacher's name and it says classroom in parentheses, that means that that is a classroom alert. That means your teacher has posted on Google Classroom. Up here, I think, oh, in settings, if you'd like to, you could customize your Outlook. So I'll click this one. And some people enjoy it, so you could click dark mode. If you want to delete an email that you probably don't want anymore, it could be like spam, because usually people hit spam titan, titan. So you'll click right there, and you'll click delete. It's up there. You could also go down here for notes if you'd like to, and you can write notes. Ooh, another thing could be is your calendar. And usually Outlook can book for meetings. So w whenever you have a Zoom meeting, you could also put it on there if needed. So you would double click, double click, double click the day. You got a title, 
Zoom meeting. And attendees aren't people that you talk to. So I'll add Erin because she would, since she's in my tech team, she would be on there. And maybe Nico and Diana. Oops. And yeah, you'll, you'll set the day, you'll set the time. Usually your teacher will send the time. After all this is done, I'll put hello, join us for a Zoom meeting. Oh, no, I should put join in. Join in for a Zoom, a Zoom meeting. After that's done, you'll click, you'll exit it out. Oh, no. And after that, I'll send it. And then it'll be on your uh, calendar. Thank you for watching. Stay safe during quarantine and have